Hi, it is uh, the Wednesday before July 4th weekend, um, June 29th to be exact, and uh, get a lot of videos from my truck here because it's the easiest place for me to, uh, to talk, take a minute. Um, well, I got a text, it's really bright out, sorry, I got a text the other day from your mom that said that you guys were moving to St. George. And uh, obviously that's really sad. And uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think about what it is I wanna say, I wanna do a video. I just, uh, I'm really surprised. Well, I mean, I'm not surprised. I know that your mom has wanted to go up there for a long time, but I guess what surprises me is that when I replied and, well, first of all, let me back up. I'm surprised in the sense that I can't believe that I haven't seen you guys. I'm just, um, it's hard to stay 100% positive all the time. And I know that all my videos, I usually do my videos when I'm feeling a certain way and I'm sad and I'm often sad. Every day I think of you guys and I'm sad that I haven't seen you I was grateful to talk to you both on Father's Day. That was very nice. Brooke, I didn't get the chance to talk to you as much because you guys were in a bad area out of range and the phone disconnected twice. So I was grateful to be able to talk to you uh, the week before on your birthday. Bailey, it was nice to talk with you. Um, but either way, that's about the extent of my communication with you guys is I finally, after seven months, got a phone call uh, where Bailey would talk and nothing before that. And I haven't been able to see you guys. And then when I send a text uh, to your mom asking if I'm gonna be able to see you guys before you leave, why would that be strange? Why would that not be possible? And I get a reply that says, you guys aren't comfortable with that. And I, I just don't understand that. I don't even know what position to take um, I don't know if that's the truth. I don't know if uh, that's an interpretation from your mom. But one thing I can tell you is that parents have the ability to lead others. They have the ability to let you make your own choices, but at the same time to lead you in choices. Um, a grandfather passes away and you didn't know the grandfather very well maybe or someone in the family passes away that you didn't know very well and as a kid you might say i don't want to go to the funeral i don't want to do this i don't want to do that whatever it is in life i don't want to do uh i don't want to do that and yes a parent can allow you to choose but a parent who's teaching you the right way is also there to teach you to show you this is life you may not want to go but it's the right thing to do uh, you show respect to your family members. Uh, you, you go. That's how it works. Uh, we all do things we don't necessarily want to do or that aren't always comfortable. Well, look, you guys are both my daughters. I've spent years and years and years as your dad, day in, day out, loving you, uh, caring for you, doing things with you. But after not seeing you for seven months, yeah, it might be a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, that's just kind of the way it goes. But I still would like to see you. And so it's one of those things where I know that your mom has the ability to tell you guys, look, we're moving to St. George. We're gonna be gone. We're not even gonna be in the same state. Uh, you need to see your dad. But instead, it's more convenient and it's easier for whatever reason, which makes zero sense to me. There's no good reason, in my opinion. Not a single good one. Um, she supports your decision. Your decision to uh, to not see me or if it makes you uncomfortable. And I just don't get it. I just don't understand. I'm very frustrated. Uh, I, I see absolutely no reason why I wouldn't be able to see you guys. Or even sometimes I don't even understand why you guys would be uncomfortable with that. Or why it's been even made to be uncomfortable after waiting so long to even communicate. So, I'm just sad and I'm frustrated and I, I just want to see you guys. I love you guys. How can you think that I want to let you guys 
leave and move to a different state without seeing you and hugging you or just talking to you. I haven't seen you in seven months, you know? And it's really, it's really sad and it's wrong. And you know, I have a lot of feelings that I need to get out and this was supposed to be my avenue to talk. Um, but in reality, I probably need to do some other videos that I keep private. So for future reference, uh, if you ever see these videos, uh, ask me about the private videos because there's videos that I need to do that I need to get stuff off my chest and I need to be able to talk without filters but in reality it's probably stuff that's understood by an adult understood by you when you're older um, and so maybe that's what I need to do that's something that Sarah encouraged me to do is to treat this like my regular diary and, and talk about those things I said well it's hard because I'm trying to stay positive and there's things I can't or won't talk about uh, but at the same time, I need to be able to express this stuff. Uh, and, and it's stuff I want you to see. It's stuff I want you to hear. It's stuff about my life I want you to know about. But maybe not until you're older. So I think I've decided I, I might need to do that. But um, our lives are ripped apart. Mom and I don't... Our lives are totally different now. And, and I've been encouraged to be positive on these videos. But... I'm really sorry about the analogy on this, but it is how it feels. So forgive me for this analogy, but I don't think anybody would tell somebody whose uh, son or daughter or family member passed away or, or in an accident or was no longer around uh, to tell them to, to make sure whatever video they do is positive. They, at, at, those people can't bring back that child, so to speak. If you have a child that's passed away at a young age due to an accident or something like that, you know, you can't tell that parent to just be positive. Um, they're hoping to be positive. I want to be positive every day. But the fact is, in reality, as sad as it is to say, I feel like you guys are gone. Gone. No longer here. No, no connection. No ability to see you. Uh, feeling lost love and missing you guys. And Where did you go? You know, where did you go? Why are you gone? What happened? What did I do to deserve this? And yet, I can't always be positive. My videos aren't always going to be positive because I'm sad. I miss you guys and you're just gone. And in my opinion, for no good reason. None. Never in a million years did I think as I sat there and decided to take a step back to give you guys some space and, and help you guys, you know, feel more comfortable about the situation or loyalty issues or whatever else. Never in a million years did I think that I wouldn't have any communication with you, that you wouldn't call me, that you wouldn't let me follow you on Instagram or anything that allows me to like see or be a part of your life, even if it's in a minimal way, you know, nothing. A phone call on Father's Day. And please know, I'm grateful for that phone call, but I was able to talk to Brooke on her birthday and a, a text. Maybe one from each of you. That's not good enough. You're my, you're my kids. And it's not good enough. I don't know. I just can't believe you're moving. I can't believe all this has happened. I feel... Um, I feel like I've completely lost an entire portion of my life. A large, large, large portion. Um, and I feel crippled by it. Mom feels crippled by it. We have so many days of sadness. And I don't think you guys even understand in the slightest how much we miss you guys. And how much we just want to be a part of your lives. Even if it's at a distance. But at least something. Like I said, following, following you on Instagram. Being able to see pictures you post. Being able to see your progress and see how you're doing in life. To send a text. Whether it's an in-depth conversation or it's whatever. Like... What all of a sudden made it so uncomfortable that your dad can't show or express love? I still haven't t sent Brooke her, uh, been able to bring over Brooke's birthday present. Uh, and then the text I get from your mom tells me to don't include any long letters or photos. Just a basic birthday card. Why? Why would I not be able to send a photo to Brooke? Is, is a photo going to send you into a spiral? And, and if it is going to send you into an emotional spiral, I, I guess, in reality, in my opinion, you have to ask yourself, why? 
why would it send you into an emotional spiral? Because maybe there's a separation that's occurred that is not healthy for those parties involved? I just don't even know. So, I feel completely blocked and limited uh, to see you in any way and show you love and be your father. And uh, even, if, even if you're doing a different thing in your life or you want to move to St. George, can you move to St. George and see me before you go? Can I... Uh, text you? Will you send me occasional texts? Uh, can I see what's going on? If you get on Facebook, which you're probably not on there yet, can can we see what's happening in your life? Nope. Nothing. Nothing at all. And, uh, you know, positive or not, I'm sorry. It's wrong. And I don't know what else to say other than that. I'm really sad you're leaving because I know I can't see you, but my heart knows that you're down the road. And, uh, but it won't be that way anymore. And it's going to be sad. And, uh, I think that's about all I want to say today, but, uh, I miss you guys. This is so wrong. This is not healthy for anybody involved. And all I can do is just pray that in the future, you want a relationship with me that once you're away from this situation, which I feel is very controlled without going into detail, a very controlled situation of somebody making decisions for you, of encouraging decisions for you, um, maybe someday you will want that relationship back. And that's all I can hope for at this point because I'm not allowed to call. I'm not allowed to text. I'm not allowed to see you. So I'm hopeful at this point that I see you in the next couple weeks before you go. But sadly enough, I probably shouldn't hold my breath. I hope I'm wrong, and I hope that I have some video here in the future that, that expresses my gratitude for being able to see you before you leave, but I just don't know at this point. So that's it for today. I'm sorry if I sound negative, uh, but I'm sad. My heart aches every day to not see or hear from you guys, and uh, I don't know. Bye.